friend too. I know that much. All right. Um, I'm talking about things here. Yeah. Anyway, I bought the fight. Uh, which just then you can beat the guys and get a. I wouldn't say a shortcut, but an alternative route to the good ending in the game. I think, or you could get, or you get some other ending by doing that. Anyway, it's not the ending that I want right now. So, but you can beat the crap out of them. But it's kind of difficult. You know, doing that. But they're hard. Uh, so yeah, now we're in the woods, I'm searching for a house, and uh, see those little things popping out of the ground. They're mines. Step on them, boom, you're dead. But you get a warning for the time. You look at them, that's deep in the It's what we thought it was done for. But I'm still here. But then, that was on my side tonight. But I learned that time for the game. Yeah, exactly what he said. Yeah, you get one. By the way, I didn't talk as much about the narrator of the game. I really enjoy the voice that he really got this uh, narrator status. Like, Star Kid, it's. Um, I played this game and I recorded at this level one, uh, one time. Oh yeah, by the way, you need to go through this place. I don't know about the outbank there. Uh, right here, press tab, you get a map. Right here where I'm standing, there's a secret area. Uh, you can see me as a white dot sent there. Uh, and you can see a uh, trash and behind the chainsaw. It has no fuel. We'll talk more about that later. But, uh, how about the other thing? Yeah, the secret. I found a secret randomly when I was recording this level, and it uh, got me kind of surprised. I did not expect the reference to Pitfall. That's basically what it is. The reference of the game. Thankfully, there are no jump scares in this map, other than this uh, wolf slash dog here. Kinda caught me off guard the first time I played this game. Motherfucker! Ah! I didn't have it done. Shit! Okay, good. Alright, so, uh,. If you go inside the house, uh, it's pitch dark so you can't see shit. So, yeah, don't go inside of this place. Yet. Uh, here is the cellar, which took me a really long while to actually know where the hell I was supposed to go. So, finally, I found the cellar. So, just go down the cellar, and I think here you go to right here. And right here is the 
the uh, little red button is a generator. Okay, now about the chainsaw here. Uh, you got two options. You can either power the entire house with electricity, uh, so you can see upstairs, or you can use a generator to power your chainsaw. To get the ending I want, I need to power the chainsaw. So that's you could what I'm going to do. Or I could probably siphon gas for the chainsaw. Yeah. There you go. Okay, God, where is the fucking? This place is like a maze. In pitch dark, I just need to. I might there. Okay, good. Uh, I'm gonna do a few things here. I'm gonna first go down this guys, get a secret gas tank, some extra fuel for this thing. I'm just gonna open this door, and uh, then I will face the easiest boss in history with a chainsaw. From the fog, I see a hulking behemoth striding my direction. He's huge. Goliath to my David. Thirty stones easy. He doesn't speak. His heavy brow hides the gaze of his eyes. I sense a rage welling up inside me, greater than I have ever felt. It's time to foul this son of a bitch now. He's huge. And that means he has huge guts. Rip and tear. Yeah. This is fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Strike the corpse's head over and over again until it's little left but soft chunks and enough teeth for dental identification. Spit on the body for good measure. Feels good. Too good. I find my way back through the woods to the car. I got plenty of time to think about what happened, what I've seen, the worst nightmares of any man could not have prepared me for what I saw. How am I going to break it to my savior, her son? I return to the house where my guardian angel lives, trying to break the news to her. She's strong. She takes it better than I imagined. But it's still a lot of old tears and heavy breathing. Yeah, that was the first playthrough of the game. And uh, if you notice uh, at the ending, that uh, girl he looked at was his daughter growing up. Though he did not realize that, yeah. kind of sad. So I would call this the s all right, slightly good ending. Uh, it's not the best, uh, but it's an all right ending, and no one gets hurt. So yeah, so it's, a, it's a good ending. So, in the next episode, I will try to get another ending in this game. Stay tuned for some more gameplay of this game. Thanks for watching. See you next time.